In the fall of 2013, Food Chain was six months into operating our commercially scaled indoor aquaponic system, growing tilapia, lettuce, and herbs. This system used only a fraction of the resources of conventional cultivation, since the fish waste serves as the food for the plants and the plants clean the water for the fish. In fact, our aquaponic system has only two main inputs, fish food and baby fish. But Food Chain is committed to demonstrating the most sustainable systems, which means we want to waste as little as possible. So even though our existing system used only a few resources, we knew we could do better. So we focused in on baby fish. By building our own fish hatchery, we save on the gas and energy that we'd otherwise spend to get our young fish every month to stock the aquaponic system. Plus, since Food Chain's primary mission is education, we want to show people the entire path their food travels. With the hatchery on site, we can show the complete cycle from fish egg to fish on a plate. So here's how we do it. We start with a handful of adult tilapia that will be our mommies and daddies. We keep the males and females separate so that we can control when they produce babies. When we're ready, we prepare the females by warming up their water and giving them more light. This gets them ready to have babies. Then we move them to another tank where we put the females together with the male. There the male will fertilize the eggs laid by the females. Here's where things get particularly fun. Tilapia are known as mouth brooders which means that once the eggs are fertilized, the mom will scoop the fertilized eggs into her mouth and hold them there while they get ready to hatch. During that time, she doesn't eat anything, and we move her into her own tank so she isn't disturbed. She can carry up to 300 fertilized eggs at a time and will keep them from getting moldy by rolling them around in her mouth. About seven days later, the eggs will begin to hatch and carefully swim out of their mother's mouth. Once they're fully hatched, they're ready to live life on their own. We now move mom back to her original home so her babies can grow up strong. These young babies are called fry and they're super hungry. In fact, they can eat almost 25% of their weight every day. Nearly three months later, these babies have grown to four inches in size and weigh almost a tenth of a pound. We now call them fingerlings and they're ready to move into our big aquaponic system. Just like in our big system, we've got to keep our fish nursery water clean so the baby fish don't get sick. But changing out their water all the time is wasteful. So our nursery is designed as a recirculating system. What does that mean? It means that we cycle the water around from nursery tank to tank to make a loop. We then add natural bacteria as a filter. Like in our aquaponic system, we house these bacteria in big barrels filled with dish scrubbies that serve as bacteria apartments. Water that flows into these barrels is full of fish waste, but as it flows out, the bacteria have made it much less toxic. Plus, when we finally do change out our water, it then makes excellent fertilizer for plants and gardens in our area. So let's review. Our fish nursery lets us raise young, healthy baby tilapia without any yucky chemicals, all while using water that's naturally cleaned by bacteria. So we use less water and grow more happy fish. Hip, hip, hooray! Thanks to all those who helped make this project a reality, particularly the Lexington Clinic Foundation for their generous funding.